What a lovely day. <sighs> it truly is a beautiful world, isn't it, Pumpkin? You can almost hear everything teeming under the surface. The plants growing, the bugs crawling, the pigeons harassing the tourists. Definitely a lovely day. Too bad all of it has to die eventually, right? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Of course it has to die, and other things will live. It's the circle of life. Don't make me go all Lion King on you. You seem preoccupied today, Starshine. What's on your mind? Ah, I get it. No, I really do get it. I know we've been having a good time, and I've certainly learned a lot about you, but... Underneath it all, the main questions still haven't been answered. You still can't die. And I still can't kill you. But think of it this way. Something has to give, right? The higher-ups are getting... twitchy. Something feels different every time I go up there. It feels like everyone is holding their collective breath. So something's going to happen. I feel it. Don't you? Yeah, I thought you might. So we just need to be patient. This can't continue forever. At some point, something will change. And I'm eternally optimistic that the thing that changes is my effect on you. I wish you wouldn't look at me like that. You know I don't have a problem with you. To be perfectly honest, I... enjoy your company. Yes, I do. Very much. And when I do finally manage to kill you, I may even be a little sad about it. Well, sure. Once you've passed on, Pumpkin, I won't see you anymore. You'll be off this plane of existence, but I'll still be here. Still doing my job, like I do all the time, every second of every day, forever. But anyway, the thing is, it doesn't matter whether I'll miss you or not. Neither of us really has a choice in this. I'm death, this is what I do. And you're alive when you shouldn't be. Sweetie, few people truly want to die. Most of them aren't too pleased when it happens. I'm not surprised you're in that camp. Especially since you're you. You're young and healthy and... If you hadn't been on my list, you'd be oblivious to all of this. You're one of the ones people say are taken too soon. Cut down in the prime of life. Or at least you will be. When I manage to cut you down. Hey, Pumpkin. Listen to me. I know this has been stressful as all hell, wondering day to day whether this is the day you die. If this is the day my touch actually works on you. We don't have any answers to all the questions, but I can promise a few things to you, okay? I promise it won't hurt. I won't let it hurt. I promise you'll find peace. This is the natural order of things, and there's a real comfort in that. Even if it doesn't seem fair or right, it's how it has to be. And there's no arguing it. And I promise... Well... I promise to stick by your side until then. And try to make it as fun a journey as possible. I mean, what else is life for but to live it? Exactly. Smile for me, Pumpkin. Show me that optimism that annoys the crap out of me, but still manages to make the days brighter. There you go. Who knows, I may never be able to kill you. You might be stuck hanging out with me forever. Which, in that case, I think would be sort of like purgatory for both of us. <laughs> oh, really? You don't hate me. I wouldn't really blame you if you did. I mean, not a lot of people like me. Most don't want me around. Those who do are usually suffering so much that they find me preferable to the pain. Which isn't particularly flattering. 
But I do get it. I'm the one who takes life. I take all that vibrancy and joy and potential and existence away. From old, young, sick, healthy, everyone. I don't discriminate. I'm not anyone's friend. Oh, Pumpkin, you look almost sorry for me. Well, don't be. I'm fine. I'm great at what I do, and I'm content. And right now, I'm actually having fun. Of course I am. I almost forgot what fun was like. You've reminded me that life isn't just about how it ends. Yes, that's on you. I blame you entirely for being fun to be around. <laughs> so, what shall we do with this lovely day? I like that idea. Let's walk. You mean my bosses? Or me? Well, the bosses aren't talking. But I have a theory or two of my own. We talked about that a little before. I don't think that anymore. This has gone on too long for it to be a training my replacement scenario. And that never really made sense to me anyway. I'm just so damn good at my job, you know? But I do have another idea or two. No, I don't think I will. Not yet. I have a few things to think about and ask my bosses first. If I can ever catch one in their office. Lately, they've been almost MIA. I have no idea. Something weird is afoot. But don't worry. When I think I've got my theory figured out, I'll let you know. No need to bother you with it until then. No, I'm serious. It's fine. Just let me stew on it a bit. And let me observe a little longer. You, of course. Whom do you think I've been observing all this time? <laughs> Come on, Pumpkin, you're smarter than that. Here, take my hand. Just take it, please. Let's walk like this. Actually, no. I'm not touching you with intention right now. I'm not trying to kill you right at this moment. I'm just holding your hand. Is that okay? Because I like it. I like how it feels. Don't you? Well, okay then. Let's walk together. Just like this. It occurs to me, I probably don't ask you this enough, but do you have any theories about why I can't kill you? You say you're perfectly normal, and I think you actually believe that, but if you have any ideas behind this whole situation, don't ever hesitate to share them. Well, no. That's interesting. I get that, for sure. Hmm. Well, to be honest, I don't think any of those theories hold water, but then again, I think I know more than you about what's going on. I said I think I do. I don't know for sure, but I'm working on it. Oh, definitely. You're a mystery I plan to solve, Starshine. Let's turn down this street. I like the shade from the trees. So. What the hell? Well, that was a close call. Not that it would have killed you, but it certainly would have hurt you. He'll be fine. I know it looks bad, but he's not going to die. He's not on my list. Huh, <sighs> sure. We can help if you want. Ever the do-gooder, aren't we? Come on, let's take a look. I wonder what caused him to lose control. He had to see this wall, right? Walls don't come out of nowhere. Oh, you should probably call for an ambulance. He's not going to die, but his injuries look pretty bad. Okay, good. Someone will come soon, then. You want to check and see if he's conscious? Go right ahead. Wait, what? What do you mean? 
but that can't be. He's not on my list. I haven't even touched him. But he's not. He can't die. He must have just been knocked out. Let me see. Is he human? Yeah, he is. But that... He's not supposed to be... What the hell is going on? No, no one can die if they're not on my list. And I still have to touch them with intention, remember? Which I definitely have not done. How should I know? This shouldn't be possible. No, I can see that. Let's get him out of here. Get him on his back. Start CPR. You do know CPR, right? Okay, come on. Do it. I'll take over when you get tired. I said do it. Don't stop. I don't get it. What? This doesn't make any sense. He's still not... Wait. Stop. No, stop. I want to try something. No, I want you to try something. Here, give me your hand. Look at me. I have a theory about you. That you're special. So I want you to try something for me right now. I want you to take your hand and touch his face. And while you do it, I want you to think about being alive. I want you to put every bit of life you can into your touch and pass it on to him. Make it a touch with intention, like I do to you. But do it with the intention of living. I'm serious. Just stop looking at me like that and do what I'm telling you. Don't wait. Just try it. I know it doesn't. None of this makes any sense. This guy should not be dead. He's not on my list. Do you understand what that means? Something is really off here, and now's as good a time as any to test my hypothesis. So here, take your hand and try. Just try it. Trust me. If you believe in me at all, just trust me. No, don't stop. Keep trying. You can do this. I have a feeling you can. No, please, close your eyes. Think about all the life around you. Feel the vibration of the trees and people and pets and bugs and even the tiny microscopic organisms swarming everywhere. Feel their energy around you. Do you feel it? Good. Now take that energy and focus it through your hand. Focus it to him. You can do it. Just keep trying. I think it's working. Don't stop. I can feel it. The energy is changing. Keep trying. Here, give me your other hand. I may be death, but that actually gives me a special relationship to life. You can't have one without the other. Let me help. I think I can. I'll help you. That's it. That's good. Focus. It's working. Open your eyes. Look. No, look. He's breathing. You got him breathing. You did it. Okay, now you breathe. Catch your breath. I know how you feel. It's a little rough the first time. No, you did that. You brought him back. Yes, you did, Pumpkin. Didn't you feel it? That was you. That was all you. No, I was just the guide. You were the power. You okay? Just keep breathing. You'll get back to normal in a minute. You can probably already feel the energy going down again. Of course I didn't know. I would have told you if I knew. I wouldn't hide that from you. I wasn't sure. I just had a theory. I didn't know if it would actually work, though. Well, I mean, think about it. I couldn't kill you. That's a big one. And then I saw your house plants. 
all of which have lived a lot longer than they really should have. And there were other things, too. Small things. But they added up to a theory. Everything you touched was thriving. And you were beyond my reach. So when you add it all up... There you go. I think you get me. I'm the one that takes life. But you seem to have the ability, at least on a certain level, to give life. I mean, look at him. Actually, you know, now's not really the time to get into it. We can talk about this later. We need to get this guy some help. He's alive, but he's still hurt pretty badly. Yeah, they should be coming soon. Here, keep him still. The last thing he needs is to be hurt worse. Yeah, we'll get him taken care of. And we'll get you back home so you can rest a bit. I think you probably need it after that. And then I need to find my damned bosses. They have a lot of explaining to do. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get some things sorted out. Once and for all. They've known something was up all along, I'm positive. In fact, I wonder if they set this... Oh, if this was a test, I'm going to be so, so annoyed with them. They think a woman scorned is bad? Hell hath no fury like death misled. Oh, here they come. Good. Right on time. Hey, look into my eyes. Focus on me and breathe. There you go. In and out. I know there's a lot going on right now. Your adrenaline is through the roof. Let's get you calmed down and back home, and then we'll talk. But first, whatever's going on with you, I want to say, I've never been as happy as I've been while spending time with you. This, hanging out with you, has been a lot of fun. A lot more fun than I thought it would be. To be honest, I expected you to be a huge bore, but you surprised me. You think so? Well, that's nice to know. Glad I kept you a little entertained. Okay, Pumpkin, we should probably get out of here before the ambulance rolls up. They'll have a lot of questions. You think you can walk? Good. Give me your hand. All right, then. Ready? Come on. Let's go.